Ooh, the Krieg Ferguson show. <laughs> he might be like Kenneth McKellar. <laughs> Has some traditional Highland country dances with him. <laughs> Let's take a wee peek. Mr. Craig Ferguson. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Craig Ferguson Show. My name's Craig Ferguson. This is my show. This is my audience. These are my trousers. This is my haircut. So shut up! Shut up! Watch! Listen, and who knows, maybe you'll learn something. <laughs> right, let's begin. Squirrels. <laughs> Squirrels are thick, aren't they? See, you've learned something already. You can go to the pub tomorrow night and say, hey, guess what time? <laughs> I don't like to brag, but uh, squirrels are thick. <laughs> it's not that I've anything against squirrels in particular, it's all animals. They're stupid. Yes, they are. They're thick. If you have any qualifications at all, you are banned from being an animal. I'm sorry, you can't come into the zoos and exhibit. I can see you've passed your cycling proficiency test. <laughs> Sheep, dogs, mice, giraffes, beavers, antelopes, proboscis, monkeys, any animal at all. They're stupid. Take the hedgehog, for example. Can your average hedgehog come to terms with the road? <laughs> We've had roads for thousands of years. Do hedgehogs know what they are? No, they don't. <laughs> oh, look. Here's one of those things. Uh, oh, I know. Look right. Look left. Look right again. If there's heavy traffic in both directions, then off you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not buying that. Spiky bastards. Animals are stupid. But what about the dolphin? What about the dolphin? Well, the dolphin, or porpoise, is a highly intelligent animal. Even more intelligent than a human being, huh? Boulder Dash! <laughs> Anyone who says that has obviously never been to a performing dolphin show. Watching some overgrown smart ass trout doing some synchronized swimming is hardly my idea of Las Vegas. The worst thing about dolphins is the way they smile all the time. Hello. <laughs> See? If having a cheesy grin is an indication of intelligent behaviour, then I'll have to radically alter my world view. <laughs> or Weltanschauung, as brainy Germans say. Ha! <laughs> but a dolphin can say Weltanschauung. <laughs> Actually, it's Weltanschauung. <laughs> You. Would Albert Einstein be considered a genius if all he could do was balance a beach ball on his nose? <laughs> or Archimedes, if all he'd ever done is leapt from his bath, dived through a hoop and splashed back down into his bath again whilst collecting a fish, would he be remembered today as the father of mathematics? I doubt it. <laughs> Dolphins can't even manage Eureka! They come close, though, I suppose. <laughs> that all animals can speak to each other, as was proved to us by the definitive naturalist, the great, wonderful, mysteriously fantastic genius, Johnny Morris. <laughs> and he proved it on his fantastic, even more spooky and scary, so clever, it's incredible show, Animal Magic. Actually, I don't think that show should have been called Animal Magic, should it? No. It should have been called I am bonkers. <laughs> oh, blimey. A bit rough this morning. Oh, <laughs> I'm just a little bit of a jug strap. 
I am bursting. <laughs> ah, better out for him. <laughs> Bleeding wildlife documentary. I don't know. Never get a moment's privacy around here. Look out, ladies. Here I come. Oh, pardon me. You wish you'd have had that second walk dog last night. Now <laughs> well, then, let's see your uh, tail up. I love that. Brush the old there. Should do it. That's an early night then, darling. Yeah, come on then. Hop on. <laughs> I'll make it a quick one. I've got to get back to lift the cans. Oh, uh, yeah, won't be a minute. I've got to pop off down the watering hole as it goes. Are you asleep up there? Oh, sorry. Not <laughs> anyway. Hey, that do you then, love? Oh, yeah, just the job. ta -ra. Uh, yeah, see you. See you, darling. Here are two rules for life. One, never eat that second warthog. <laughs> and two, never expect to have a good time with someone you met on holiday if you ever meet them again. So, how was Holland? Oh, you know, flat, dykes, <laughs> um, windmills, tulips, edam, business, 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 really. Hey, Bill! Bill, it's me, Yena from Amsterdam. You remember I'm coming here in England to check out some pretty girls. Oh, yes. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Incredible good. <laughs> oh, you must be Jane. Oh, Claire. Uh oh Hey, Bill, you're not changing. Always looking for the more pretty girls. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're a special girlfriend of Bill's? No, 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 no. She's just a friend. But not for much longer, I'm thinking, perhaps, eh, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> We are first meeting in Amsterdam. And we are having so much fun the whole time <laughs> that even my child is hurting. Right, yes. <laughs> so, uh, how long are you here for? Oh, maybe one, two months. <laughs> hey, Bill, you like Transmission Vampire? She's a pretty girl. <laughs> in Amsterdam, we are always going into clubs. And Bill is asking for cocaine. And sometimes, <laughs> we are always getting drunk the whole time on many beers. <laughs> oh, oh, my head. <laughs> I thought you said you only ever drank chilled white wine. Well, yes, but, but the beer in Europe's so much better quality. I, I, I think yes, <laughs> and sometimes Billy's not know how strong is the Amsterdam beer, and he is fighting and being sick in the canal. Oh. <laughs> it's incredible funny, yes? <laughs> yes, well, I never knew you were such a comedian, Bill. Claire, it was only for one night. I had 24-hour botulism, actually. <laughs> Yes, because every other night, he was too busy in the red district of light. Showing his botulism to all the pretty girls, if you please. Well, the red district of light, really? No. Yes. Yes, well, yes. <laughs> yes, well, well, it doesn't go on like that over here. And I, and I think you've got to kind of see that kind of thing to, to, to understand it. <laughs> yes, but I'm thinking, uh-oh, I hope he is wearing some condoms. <laughs> <laughs> And then, he's always coming to me and saying, can I have some more gilders to put in the naughty video machines? <laughs> he's liking best the one with the pretty girl and the pig down on the farm. <laughs> uh -oh. Well, it sounds like one hell of a business trip. Goodbye, Bill. Hey, Claire, baby, it's me, Carlos from Malaga. <laughs> and I brought my interestingly shaped vegetable. <laughs> Every week on The Craig Ferguson Show, we'll be having Cabaret Corner, a chance for me, Craig Ferguson, to bring you the cream of the alternative cabaret circuit. And who better to start off with than the very wonderful and talented Mr. Noel Claw. Noel Claw, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. My name's Noel Claw. Grr. ba <laughs> And uh, I, I bet you can't guess what I am. <laughs> That's right. I'm a ventriloquist. <laughs> and this is my little chum, Gary the Guitar. Um, 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 actually, uh, Gary used to be a 12-string guitar. Now he's only a six-string guitar. He got cut back by the Tories. <laughs> no, but uh, seriously, um, I am actually a singer, so I'll, I'll get straight on. Um, I mean, you know what it's like, right? You put, you, get, you put two coat hangers in a wardrobe and you leave them there overnight and, and you come back the next day, there's hundreds of them, aren't there? I think they've probably mated, haven't they? And yet, when you want to uh, ha hang something up, you can never find a, a coat hanger anywhere, can you? Where did they come from, coat hangers? And 
where do they go to? That's what this song's all about, and it's called simply The Coat Hanger Song. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, coat hangers hanging in the wardrobe, coat hangers hanging in the hall, coat hangers hanging in the corner, coat hangers hanging on the wall. When you leave coat hangers hanging in the wardrobe, hanging up together all through the night, there's a whole big nest of baby coat hangers there in the morning when you turn on the light. Oh, coat <laughs> What a lovely creature the whale is. You can't set video recorders, though, can they? <laughs> Whales, those magnificent creatures of the deep that can communicate through thousands of miles of ocean just by farting. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true, whales can speak to each other if you accept an inordinately loud bottom blast as a form of speech. <laughs> Whales are stupid as well. When's the last time you saw a whale on Mastermind? <laughs> Wouldn't fit in the chair, would they? <laughs> Sorry, Magnus. <laughs> <laughs> Whales are so stupid, they can't even make it onto family fortunes. <laughs> uh, Mr. Dick, Melby. <laughs> oh, you try to do a Les Dennis impersonation. <laughs> and try to impersonate furniture. <laughs> Mr. Dick, Bobby. I wish Bob Monkhouse was still doing it, to be honest. <laughs> Mr. Dick, Moby. <laughs> Name three things beginning with the letter B. <laughs> <laughs> you said... <laughs> Survey said... Hack off! <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I think we better try that one again, eh? <laughs> Survey said! Keep your money in your sock. Keep your money in your sock if you're going down to London. <laughs> your mothers won't get it. Keep your money in your sock. Ah, uh, that's highly dangerous, that London. Ah. Uh. Morning. Look at that one go down. That old freezing. Right. Well, I used to be one of them old cowmen, actually. As a matter of fact. Look at that. Fish. Can't he stand fish? It's stuck in your throat. Look what happened to the Queen Mother. There's no respecter of position in a fish. Highly dangerous, them fish. Quite similar, really, driving a coach, driving a herd of cows. Well, except, you know, like with a coach, you sit at the front, and with the cows, you know, you like stand at the back, and you have a dog, and you, you poke them with a stick. Come on there, Daisy! Prod, prod, you know. Beef. Corn beef. I quite like that. Makes a good sandwich. With some horseradish or some pickle, maybe. No tomatoes. I can't stand tomatoes. I hate them. <laughs> That'd be highly dangerous driving a coach like that, though, wouldn't it? Standing at the back, poking it with a stick. Especially the old fast lane, the old M4. Highly dangerous. Mind you, there are similarities between a coach and a cow. They both got horns. They're both living creatures. <laughs> Aye, but a cow. Doesn't he have that shh thing at the side when you open the door, does he? Well, well, no. That is correct. They don't have that, no. Mind you, that'd be good if they did, wouldn't it? You could just, like, you know, open up the door in their side and take your sausages out. <laughs> or your beef sandwiches. But no tomatoes. I can't stand tomatoes. It's all the wee seedy things. They get in your teeth. Well, all right, you don't have to have tomatoes. Sheffield over there. <laughs> Sandwiches! 
Sandwiches, sandwiches. Where did this sandwich get its name? Well, we are told the sandwich got its name from the Earl of Sandwich. Oh, so the aristocracy invented this sandwich, did they? You're not trying to tell me for thousands of years people didn't put food between two slices of bread? Of course they did. They just didn't have a name for it, that's all. Which must have been a tiny, toady wee bit tricky for people going into sandwich shops. Uh, hello. I'd like a cheese and ham, uh, ooh, uh, mm, uh, I'd like a cheese and ham, uh, thingy. A cheese and ham, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, ooh, uh, a cheese and ham thingy. <laughs> oh, yes, I know what you mean. What are those things called? You know, I don't think they're called anything. Let's go and ask the Duke of Wellington what they're called. Now, I'm afraid he's not in. He's, uh, too busy splashing about in puddles. He thinks he's invented something. <laughs> well, let's go and ask the Earl of Sandwich, then. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> and why, what about it? Tables. Yes. Who decided a table should be called a table? <laughs> Who in their wisdom decided table was the best word for their job? The job, even. <laughs> Could happen to anyone, shut up. <laughs> Who decided table was the best word for the job? Was it the Earl of Sandwich? I doubt it. <laughs> he was too busy farting her out with bits of stale bread. <laughs> oh, look, I think I've invented the wheel. No, that's a sandwich, my lord. <laughs> the helicopter then. No, that's still a sandwich, you great heathen dick! <laughs> a table could so easily have been called a scrotum. <laughs> it could! Little old ladies would be saying at the drop of a hat, Agnes, I picked up a marvellous Atlantic scrotum at the market the other day. Goes very well with the alabaster bollocks. <laughs> See that? Absolutely not. Why not? Why can't I say that? Because it's got to do with sex. Honestly, you take the sex out of everything. You take the sex out of Hollywood movies. <laughs> take the sex out of Czechoslovakian cartoons. <laughs> Mind you, sex in a Czechoslovakian cartoon is probably a wee squiggly line going. <laughs> even take the sex out of sex films! <laughs> to the hotel, Raymond. Yes, Paul. Now for some champagne. Ooh, it's so big. <laughs> No, the car, I mean. <laughs> you know, you're really a very sexy lady. <laughs> I want to make love with you right now. I can't wait. Go on, then. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Oh yes, oh yes, baby. You're so good. Mmm, it's so good. <laughs> You've done this before. Oh. Oh. Mmm, that was fantastic. <laughs> hey, Arnie, I think I may have found the lead for your new film. She's really a great actress and a very sexy lady. You know what I mean? Ha, 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 ha. Oh, yes, don't stop, baby. Where did you learn to do it like that? Oh, yes, don't stop, baby. Where did you learn to do it like that? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, why don't you come and join us? Ha, 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 ha. Yes, come on. We don't mind. Ha, 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 ha. You're a right pair of ravers. <laughs> Sorry, boss. It's time for your meeting. Oh, a party. 
Mind if I join you? Uh -huh. Yes, come on. We don't mind. Uh -huh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, sorry. I was looking for the bathroom. Oh, a party. Mind if I join you? Way! Sexy! That was sexy, wasn't it? Now, what is the sexiest job you can have? A comedian, I hear you say. <laughs> well, perhaps, though. I doubt it. No, according to the cinema, the sexiest job you can have is being a British spy. First of all, there was the suave, sophisticated, smooth, Scottish, James Bond. Your plans for world domination are sadly mistaken, Mr. So-called Fancy Pants Goldfinger. By the way, do you fancy a shag? <laughs> then, then, <laughs> then, of course, there was the more down-to-earth, but still macho, Harry Palmer. <laughs> Oi, you bloody kids, get away from my bleeding tank. <laughs> Do you fancy a shank? <laughs> but of course, no, but of course, but of course, but of course, we all know what the great British spy is really like. Yes, it's a secret, but here's a clue. A girl's blouse. <laughs> Let's have a look at the size, shall we? Oh, big. <laughs> Pretty scared, eh? Woo! I think it's always bugged me. How come ghosts always ghost around with a girl's blouse on their head? do that? We don't know, you see. It's one of the eight great mysteries of life. Number one, ghosts. Number two, why do men always flush the toilet before they're finished peeing? <laughs> we don't know! <laughs> well, we don't! Number three, why do kamikaze pilots wear crash helmets? We don't know! <laughs> Number four, why do all the waxworks in Madame Tussauds look nothing like the people they're meant to look like? We don't know. Number five, what did burglars steal before they invented video recorders? We don't know. Number six, why does popcorn smell of hamsters? We don't know. Number seven, why do comedians always finish on a song, even if they can't sing? We don't know. <laughs> Number eight, why do birds suddenly appear <laughs> every time you are near? Thank you very much. You've been a great audience. Thank you very much. Good night. Lots of fun to be, yes, lots of fun to be, lots of fun to be with.